Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay y'all, so it's my lunch break. That's the one great thing about being able to work from home on my lunch break. I can come in my craft room for about 45 minutes. But I have been working on this little book for, I don't know, about a week or two. And I decided I was at the point where I could actually share it. I'm still going to continue to add to it. I'm not really sure what I wanted to do with it yet. But I just thought I would just wanted to embellish and change and all that. And yeah, I did some of these little golden books. Um, I did them all at Christmas time. And I sold some of my craft fair, the Christmas ones. And they sold like hotcakes. And I did all those Christmas themed with little activities for Christmas. But this one, I made it a little bit different. So let me just show you. Um, I purchased the book at Michael's. And if I was going to make tons of these, I think, I, you know, I think I've said before that I would much rather, um, like, find these at a vintage store instead of paying $4.99 for the book. But um, I didn't have any and I wanted to make one. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. Now, um, I used these kind of rings. Um to to um class this together and i got them a dollar tree i was going to do um like my um like my christmas ones and i used my cinch machine and i decided i was going to use these rings this time um the little the thing that i used to punch the holes um a very sweet subscriber sent to me this right here and so I used it, and whenever I used it, um, it actually punched the center holes too close together, which that was my fault. But you know what? It's okay. I'm okay with it. It's fine. So anyway, I just added on these. I've added like tassels. I just took ribbon and rickrack and just added it on. And um, I think it's turning out super cute. Um, as far as the cover, I've left it the same. Um, it would be really cute if you wanted to glitter up some things on here. That might be an idea that I would do uh, maybe down the road. Um, I did take some rickrack and I did use my um, my Barely Art glue and I glitter or I glued it some rickrack around here. I used a plastic little pocket here and... Just add in some of my Project Life cards in here. And you'll see that I've added quite a bit of the Project Life cards. It's time to use those. Okay, so um, for the front part, what I did is I made a um, acetate folder, a pocket folder out of it. And I just added, I had some of these large um, Project Life cards that can be doodled on and so forth. So I added them in into the front pocket. You can put whatever you want, you know, just do whatever you want. Um, but I thought that would be cute. And I just thought it was cute because it was see-through and everything is going to be different in here. Added a nice big paper clip up here. And right here I just added um, some decorative paper and I've used multiple collections. A lot of scraps and this and that. And I used, I printed out some words throughout here and I printed it out on Microsoft Word. And the font is Broadway and this was the size 72. So, um, yeah, I just, instead of taking the pages of the story and adding it throughout the book, I decided to go ahead and put the story all together. And that way I kept them in order. So anyway, um, that's what I did with here. So here's the, the troll's story and it's all right here. And, um, and next I put, um, I use some of my little notepads that I have in my collection or in my stash and I just changed the cover on it and just added notes on here and added this little fun little paper clip on here. It's like a little plastic one. So I added that there and so that's why I put notes on it. It can just be for doodling down your notes. Throughout the book, I just pretty much added decorative paper. I've added all kinds of um, different, um, like, Project Life cards and this and that. It still has a lot of room to grow. I can still add so much to it, but I just wanted to add in. And in a way, it can almost be like a junk journal, but 
It's not a junk journal. I guess you can call it a junk journal. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so anyway, I just added here a doily with another Project Life card. And here is the pocket folder. And here I just put pictures and journal. And there's a bunch. I just cut all this um, decorative paper and I put it all in here where you can add things on it, journal on the back, add pictures, whatever you like to do. And as you see here, I layered up some Project Life cards and I've randomly put them out through on the paper. So there's plenty of room on the backs to write on. You can add pictures. This one, it says, don't, tr don't quit your daydream. I thought that was cute and actually that was on the bottom, but I just cut it sideways so I wouldn't cut off the words. Um, this one says happiness is homemade and you can just, like I said, plenty of journaling, plenty of pictures, drawing, whatever you want to do with it. So I just try to pick out a lot of, uh, pic lot of, uh, papers that are rainbowish because it kind of went with the theme of the trolls. And so I kind of stick with that, but just made it where this was, can be used for so many different things. And uh, just to have fun with, you know, I think it'd be good to have some like crossword puzzles or, you know, word searches or something and add the, those in here. And that might be an idea that I do. Um, randomly, I put a piece of acetate here. I just cut it. This was a large, um, large project life card that I had and I just punched holes in it and added it there. Um, yeah, just, you can just, just make these up any way you want. I didn't want to cover up the beautiful papers on here, so I kind of left that one. Um, this DIY was just in some of the ephemera that I have. And I left that one blank. Um, just added in just, just Project Life cards. Just trying to decorate it up, add whatever you want on here. And so, as you see, there's lots of room to grow in here. And, um, yeah, I, I, it, this was a lot of fun. It really was. Just added in this another pocket folder, added a paper clip up here if, if it's needed. You can put whatever you want in here. And here I added an envelope or a, like a little envelope that's top that you can drop things in through the top. And I put journaling cards on here, and what I did is I added in some Project Life cards. And just in here for to write on with. And um, just kinda, what I did is I just kind of dropped them down in here. And I just put paper clip on the top. Got another piece of acetate right here just kind of as a divider. And here I found this one in my stash, just kind of like some graph paper, so that's why I put Noodle on this one. And then just another piece of fun paper you can draw on. And back here I added in some more Rick Rack going around to the back and another, um, another pocket with some Project Life cards in here. Do whatever you want, add stickers all over this. You know, it could just be so much fun just for you know, your kid, or if you were interested in something like this, or it could be a great little gift you can make someone. I did, and I just had so much fun making it. And like I said, it'd be really cute to glitter up maybe the hair on here, or, you know, do something. It'd be cute to have like, like a little paper clip that has like the, the troll looking hair coming out the top and and all that, and I didn't have any of that. It'd be good to also put like a put like a pen loop on the side. So much you could do with this sweet, fun little this fun little book. And um, yeah, it was just fun to make. It's just a bunch of stuff, is what it is. And I really am liking how it's turning out. I really am. I think it's just super cute. And um, yeah, I'll probably make a couple more. I'll probably save these and hopefully we can have craft fairs by the end of the year. If not, I guess, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe uh, I'll sell online or save them for next time. I don't know. It's a, I haven't decided that yet. But anyway, it's super fun, super easy. And yeah, now you may ask, how did I cut the spine off this? I just um, used an X-Acto knife and a ruler and sliced it right off, sliced the pages right off, um, just even with the, the cover, as you see. 
And that's it. Just punched holes in them. So it was super simple. Um, anyway, yeah. So let me see here. The ribbon I got from Michaels. The book came from Michaels. The little rings came from the Dollar Tree. This, the acetate um, come from Tuesday morning. Project Life cards probably came from Tuesday morning. As well as the paper. So anyway, just kind of an idea where I got my supplies to kind of work on this. And I'm probably going to keep going on this. I'm going to keep adding to it. I just think it's just turning out fun. But I just wanted to stop and just kind of show you where I'm at on it. And um, yeah, hope you'll be inspired to make one of these too. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And thanks so much for spending my lunch break with me. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.